What is up everybody? It's Ralph with Pondscapes out in Scottsdale, Arizona. Ready to get moving on another beautiful pond. All right guys, so we are up north in Scottsdale, Arizona and we're getting started on a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond with a nice waterfall that's gonna be right there. So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour and let you know what's going on and what we're gonna accomplish. And then we're gonna to get to rolling. All right, check it out. What we have is a big space to work with where we are dropping in a 15 foot by 10 foot by 24 inch deep. Now, right here is where our pond is gonna be located. And what's gonna be going on over here is going to be a beautiful outdoor kitchen patio pergola nice shaded area bar stools on the backside so you can just turn and look and gaze at this amazing pond so uh what our hurdles look like on this project are pretty slim uh we've got great access got a big double gate right there you can see we've already staged our boulders so uh the only big thing that we've got to be concerned about is the uh, mud generated from that leaky waterfall which we've turned off and that'll dry out and we're gonna get digging on this. So this is the heart of our filtration on a lot of these ponds, the smaller ones. Filter pads get installed in here along with bio balls and then of course that rock work that makes all of that disappear to create a beautiful waterfall that creates aeration, circulation, and that beautiful sound of the water traveling right into the pond. All right, we are making some headway. We have got that first elevation all cleaned up. And uh, what we're doing is we're also throwing dirt around the edges because our water level is going to be a little bit higher due to uh, this uh, patio getting extended. There's gonna be pavers here, so we're taking that into account to where our water level is. So we've got a little bit of dirt piled up right here. Once we do our rock work on the edge, we'll be able to backfill that nice and neatly. And you can kind of see our shape for our next level. That'll take us down to our uh, about 27 inch depth. That way when we put our gravel in, we're right at 24. And we'll be bringing more dirt around the back side of that biofall to get that elevation complete and uh, get prepared to rock that in. So we had a ton of roots uh, in this excavation. I think what happened before, uh, there was a lot of uh, queen palms. This, this looks like queen palm roots, so not a big deal. Uh, of course, those trees are non-existent and those roots are dead and they wouldn't cause any problems anyways. But what we are uh, getting ready to do now is drop in our underlayment. So that's the reason why uh, we're pulling this loose material around the edge of the pond, we're pulling that back away. we have got our liner sandwich installed. So what I mean by a liner sandwich is this is our geotextile underlayment. That goes under this liner. And then we put our liner in and that's pretty typical on a pond installation and proper construction, but we like to go that extra mile. This just makes me feel better when we drop in boulders. Sometimes they have jagged edges. Uh, I'm not worried about anything, so I've got a double layer of protection on there. And tomorrow, we will start rocking this thing out.
We started right about here this morning. Uh, got some boulders set. I love this uh, nice butt rock. We'll chunk in some uh, uh, appropriate rocks uh, later on. Uh, we want exactly for that space. Now we've got this boulder set and I am excited about that one because that is our main waterfall drop into the pond. So that little hump right there, that's gonna help direct that water and right where that tape measure is sitting, that's where we're gonna have water coming over. So I've gotta build up and frame this out to uh, channel that water in. So that uh, will have a nice little deep pool and uh, splash in there. We'll have tons of aeration and circulation just happening right there in that little channel. So that's gonna look really cool. I think I may put a light right down inside of there, shining straight up. show you around all right guys a few short days ago this was a blank canvas and in need of some magic and here it is so what we have is a 15 foot it's actually a little bit longer it's about almost 17 feet long by 10 feet across with a beautiful waterfall now believe it or not that waterfall from grade is no more than 24 inches tall. So a lot of times people contact us and they say they want a waterfall and they walk out to that back fence and they point to the top of the back fence. I want a waterfall this high. Well, we can do that if the situation makes sense, but a scenario like this, it does not make sense because we don't wanna create a volcano and a huge volume of water sound that's going to take away from the peace and tranquility that this brings us. Now, what we also have in this pond is an aerator system, and you can see those bubbles coming up from the diffusers down in the lower section. We've got lights. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lights in all on this feature. So that turned out really beautiful with the lights. All right, so another cool aspect I like about this pond is this little area right over here. Now, what we have is a bearded iris sitting right there. That's gonna be a yellow bloomer. And then we've got that yerba mansa right there. That will fill out and cascade into the pond, overlap and uh, kind of soften up that area. But what I really love is this boulder right here. See how flush that is to the water? So that is gonna be such a perfect spot for birds, lizards, things like that to get right into the water without actually being in danger of falling in or getting sucked in by some of these monster fish that are gonna be living in here. But we also have a couple really cool fish caves, one right under there and one right below this rock where I'm standing. It actually goes right down inside of here. And of course, we've got some beautiful outcroppings and the landscape is going to follow in suit right behind us and they are gonna transform this area into a more beautiful feature than it already is. All right, guys, that is a wrap. You know the drill. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up. If you've got something to say about this, let us know what you thought. And we will see you on the next video. Have a good one.